Hello and welcome, Zimran here, and we are playing Victoria 3, and this is episode 4 of our Let's Play China. In episode 3 we had started, which uh, episode 3 was really boring I imagine, but in episode 3 we had working on chemical plants, sulfur mines, started doing some trades, really trying to improve our standard of living, and those kinds of things. And I still don't know why my bureaucracy went sky high in the deficit. That's something I'll have to figure out, but I'll take care of that eventually. Um, so here we go. Uh, one of the things we want to do, we're working, one of the things to help solve this is we're working on the technology in society. We're working on psychiatry, psychiatry uh, and it's, you know, it takes 5% bureau bureaucracy population cost, and we have so many people, that'll be helpful. Uh, this also does something similar to that. Philosophical pragma pragmatism. And socialism doesn't do anything. Yeah, so, okay. So anyways, we will keep working on that. But right now, we're building chemical plants, and that's a good thing, so we can get some sulfur demand. And if we look at our market, and just look at our common things. The one thing that's still expensive is wood, but it's coming down. And we need to look for furniture. So let's go to trade routes, new import route, and let's look for furniture. And the French market has a good furniture. The Russian market, not so much. Uh, we'll hit the French market up and see if that helps us. You can look at our current trade routes. We're currently trading, you know, 2,000. Uh, wood uh, with the Russians. And that's certainly helping our, our wood export, our wood issues. And I'm sure that's helping the Russians because it's bringing in money for them. Uh, we're not running a deficit anymore, which is great. We actually have some gold reserves built up, which... You know, we're going to do that just in case. So wood, so if we look at our... The availability, it's not very available in a lot of places. I'm trying to see... I guess, let's go look at the Russian market actually here. Maybe we can look at it. And so they have sell orders, buy orders. So their wood prices is going up a little bit. I'm sure that's because... I'm importing so much of it. You can kind of look at our trade route right now. We're importing 1.89k. And we still... It's still pretty expensive here. So we need to do something about that. Um, so what we're going to do is let some more of these chemical plants finish. And let's actually go look at a chemical plant and see what the options for it are chemical plants. All right. So artificial fertilizers. What does a chemical plant do? Chemical plant creates fertilizer. Oops, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Oops. Uh, industry. I can't build an ammunition plant yet, so I can't see what they do. Where is the ammunition plant locked behind? It's either production or military. Unlocks a munitions plant. Okay, so it's a perc percussion cap we need to discover. So maybe we'll work on that next. Alright, so we need to do some resources. And we need some logging camps. The problem is, is we're running really low on infrastructure. We need to build trains. 
It's like a never-ending circus of what you need to build, what you don't need to build. Chemical plants really aren't making any money. And that's because they're making fertilizer, but there's no like real demand for it, maybe. Yeah, so there's no real demand for it. So let's fix that. And the way we can fix that is by going to buildings, rural. And let's go to our tea plantations. Maybe we can't do that. So we'll hit fertilizer on rice farms. And now we can kind of go back to the chemical plant and say, okay, so now they're making some money. They're doing a good job. And we have inputs, good shortage, engines, expensive military goods, opium, unproductive trade route. So we need to just cancel that. Let's go new import route. Let's look for some glass somewhere. Nobody has it. Porcelain, nobody's really good. Paper, no really good. Luxury clothes. Oh. Okay, the general staff unlocked. And so we're only building so let's go back and look at our market for our logging camps. Wood is still at 5%, so we're gonna keep that on and live with that for a little bit. go what's these radicals that are happening here standard of living it's always standard of living so we're gonna check the rich strata so transportation, let's see, clothes expensive, tea, fruit. Okay, so we need to work on that too. So let's go to buildings, resources. Let's go to industry, actually. We need to build a motor industry somewhere that has infrastructure to spare. We'll do it here. And it takes motor industries, takes three infrastructures. So Shanghai, so, so it's got 14. So we could do four. We'll do three. We'll do two. We'll do three. We'll do two here. And then what we're gonna do is build some railways. Dong. Okay, and then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to Manchuria. They have a bunch of people, and they don't have a lot of buildings. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to say, you're going to build some more logging camps. 
and you're going to build some gold mines. And we'll go from there. Let's just look at the standard of living for the middle strata, which is 6.8, 8.1. What is their most expensive thing? Fruit is expensive, and glass and coffee. Okay. Let's look at our market again and look at our military. That's everybody. Oh, okay, that's not everybody. Okay. Let's keep going, keep going. Now we can kind of watch the market price on the weapons. Alright, so what I think we can do actually with our military now, and it's going to cost us a little money. But let's go ahead and do it and just see what happens. Let's upgrade them all to line infantry. And let's go. You see that did cost us some money. Now that puts our buy orders at 553. Uh, so we're short 93. So what we're going to do. Is go back to the buildings. We're going to go to urban or development. We're going to go to barracks. And we're going to find one that has a lot. This one, and we're going to say regular infantry. And just lower that so that the market price goes down a little bit. And we'll just see if our sell orders go up. So we're still 82 short. Um, so. Industry, arms industry. The arms industry takes two infrastructure. So we're going to build two, and they do, they do 25. So that's really our only arms industry. about northern Manchuria? What's their infrastructure at? I want to be careful. They can build iron mines. Well, let's go ahead and do arms industry. So we need... There we go. We're back to making very little money again, but we are moving up. And let's look at our military. So let's go here. And so now our power protection is all the way up to 1295, just by changing all of our, almost all of our guys to having guns. <laughs> that sounds so terrible, almost to changing all of our guys to have guns. Uh, and you can see Russia's is at 1432, and Russia is still fighting a war with Prussia. Let's go and look and see if we can see how do we 
get Russia, diplomacy. Okay, so they're in a war. So right now... The dead, so it's just Prussia and Frankfurt. That's left. And they've spent um, 1.7 million. And it's just Russia. And so... The active fronts, Prussia has 234, Russia has 119. So that fight's not going too great for Russia. You know, so one of the things we maybe want to do is go to East Prussia and go to diplomacy or interactions. We can't improve their relations. Uh, I don't know why. We are not, okay. We don't have an interest. Okay, that's why. All right. So... Another opium addiction problem. And we are so close with our military of being able to put this opium nonsense behind us. Um, so one of the things we're going to do is go to buildings. And we're going to go to urban and go to chemical plants. We're going to say fertilizer 225 less, explosives plus 300. So there we can make explosives. And it costs, costs coal, and this costs sulfur and coal. Uh, so let's go ahead and do, oh, do this. Maybe not yet. Um, so let's go to our arms industry. And what is cannons? It takes less small arms, and it takes... Plus artillery. So we still need to build a few arms industry stuff. We'll get there. Let's keep looking at our market prices. So wood, clothes, furniture. Everything else is okay. That transportation is a big thing. But we're going to be taking care of a lot of that. We're going to be building the transportation. What we're going to do is we're going to say let's start building some transportation right now. And the motor industries will catch up. Psychiatry unlocked. Oh, that helps out. So let's go to the next thing. Uh, okay, so we had said that we want to build percussion caps. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's go back and look at that war and just see how it's going. So, so both sides have about the same war score, war support. Uh, Russia is currently mobilizing more divisions, I think, and trying to swing the counter. Seeing some battles break out. And you can see Russia is just getting worked right now. Let's look at Prussia's. So Prussia's war score is 1448. And Russia's is 1364. So Russia has uh, Prussia has a little bit of a better army. The country that I most probably should be actually looking at is they're the one that's going to give me probably the most problems. Power projection 1760 is Great Britain because they may be the one for when we end the opium nonsense. So what's this? Undeserved. Some hand people are unfairly blaming the poor. Ignore it. Let's learn to get together. I don't want to lose the authority. You know, I'll lose the authority because we need to get along. Alright, so we've built some of our first railways, 
And you can kind of go back to the market and say, hey, what do we lose? So we've got 143, the demand is 359. Let's go back to our factories and let's say, hey, you build it, you build it. So Nanjing was the place. And so what that's going to do for me is in Nanjing, it's increasing the infrastructure, which is really nice. So we're missing steel and we're missing engines. Okay. So I think what we want to do is let's go to Southern Manchuria and let's look at the buildings they can build. So they can build coal mines, they can build lead mines, which is going to be very important. Um, so we don't maybe want to necessarily build there. Logging camps, lead mines. What's their infrastructure? 49 to 69. All right, so can they build... They can't build fruit, but they can do some plantations. Uh, but they don't have any, like, big resources, just small lead mines. But I think we can live without those lead mines. So what we're going to do here in Beijing is we're going to, say, build another railroad, railroad first to start. And now then we're going to say, all right, it's time to build a steel mill. Steel mill. And what that takes is 400 in construction. And it, what's, I guess I didn't see where it, what it takes. Uh, so let's go find it. It takes coal and iron. Well, let's look at our market of construction stuff. So we have got plenty of coal right now. Iron, we're doing semi-okay on. So let's go to Manchuria. And let's say, okay, you guys are already building some logging camps, already building some gold mines. Let's do click to shift click for five pinnacles. Do ten iron mines. And back to Beijing. And say, you know what, we wanna do we wanna do eight steel mills. And we'll say hey uh, we'll go page three and we'll say let's build a steel mill let's build two steel mills right away. Go back to page one. We'll keep building the other things, of course. We also need motor industries. Okay, so we're building motor industries. All right, so that's good. Because right now our shortage is steel and engines. Let's go, let's go, we're just watching that, let's go see. So the Russian front. So the Prussians are losing their war support and the Russians are not necessarily, are losing their war support. The Prussians are at zero now. And I'm trying to see, Liberate Danzing is Russia Prussia, and I think, so where is that? Danzing, East Prussia, Latvia. So I think Danzing is right around here somewhere. I could be wrong. Well, that's East Prussia. So. We'll see what happens. Um, it's not looking so hot for really either of them. As the war is getting expensive. It's cost so it's cost Prussia five million so far, and it's cost Russia three million. Russia's lost two hundred thousand wounded and two hundred and forty thousand dead. Russia's lost about two hundred and fifty thousand uh, total uh, between wounded and dead, and. See what happens. They're get, they've got to be getting close to Moscow. Where's Moscow? So Moscow's, so Moscow's there, and this is how close Prussia goes. And I think if they capture Moscow, the Russians are probably going to capitulate. So that should be really interesting. And this might be one of those great opportune times to say, "Hey, what can we do to dogpile onto Russia?" 
because they're going to be weak, they're going to be in debt, they're not going to want to fight. But man, I'm just, you know, I'm just not seeing anything that's worth taking. I mean, coal mines, sulfur mines, I mean, those are all good, but China has such an abundance. All right. So let's go ahead and keep looking. Our, our radicals have come down from 14 million. That's awesome. But one thing I want to look at is fruit. Is that a luxury item? That is. And that's really expensive for us. So let's go to trade route. Let's go to new import route. Let's see if we can find some fruit from anybody. Oh, and we can. So Vietnamese, we'll, we'll do that. Um, the French market, we'll do that. Cambodia, we'll do that. And... We'll see if we can't watch that fruit price come way down. And we need a lot of it. Um, but hopefully it'll start coming down eventually. As we look at the trade routes, let me say... Uh, fruit, 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 fruit. Importing 300. 165. So we need a lot of fruit. And that's really unfortunate. So the production lens will go to, I don't know like what fruit means. So let's go to one of our trade routes actually. I'll go to market, trade routes. So fruit, is it, it's like, what is it? Who are we importing it from? We're importing it from the Vietnamese market. So this is the Vietnamese market. So fruit. So let's just look at their buildings. Is it two, two three provinces? So, so banana plantation. Sugar plantation, banana plantations, banana plantations. So it looks like it's just bananas. And so if it's just bananas, let's go to banana plantations. And so Guangdong has infrastructure. They have peasants. Let's let's make and it takes uh, one arable land, one infrastructure usage. So let's do. Shift click, control click to get one, five, control click for ten. Let's do ten there. Shell zone has 24 infrastructure. Let's do ten there. Formosa has 29 infrastructure. They have a bunch of people. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna build those plantations. While we're also importing for a little while. Working on the percussion caps. Pharmaceuticals unlocked. We're building our railway, so let's look at that. Look at that market details. So our railway is still really expensive. Buy orders just huge. Wood has come down a little bit. Our standard living is, eh, and our, our radicals are just swinging wildly. Rifling, um, you know that's. A good thing we could do, but let's work, look at some of these machines and stuff. So canneries, we could definitely use that. Chemical bleaching, we could definitely use that. It's going to take 35 months. It's going to take 12 months. Let's do the canneries real fast. And then let's really start... ...doing some of these other things here. Alright, so... 
Now that we can build a munitions plant, what that builds is explosives, goods, cons goods consumption, explosives, and lead. And I just for the life of me can never remember how to make explosives. This is it. The arms industry. Cannons takes iron and it has artillery. What makes explosives? Oh no, my game crashed. Wow, that's just too bad. So with that. We'll end the stream there, I guess. I made Vicky 3 mad at me somehow. Uh, so I'll fill out the bug report. But with that, that ends episode 4. Uh, thanks so much for watching. In episode 5, what we'll do is we'll build... Uh, I'll figure out how to get explosives off screen. And then I'll I'll build, do whatever I need to do to make that. And we'll continue improving our army. And then I think we may go to war in episode 5 or episode 6. Uh, you know, with Vietnam and some of the other small places. Well, actually, what we're going to do, and I just realized, is we're going to end the opium crisis once our military, I think, is strong enough. So we will do that. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, this is Zimran here. Uh, just leave a like or comments or tell me if I'm just boring or whatever. But thanks for watching. Thank you so much.